Hi. Hey YouTube. Strictly broken here. Um, it's kind of weird. It's Saturday. I'm supposed to make the Strictly rants, but then my buddy was hosting a waste tournament at this like mixer thing. He wanted to do and he wanted me to show up. I hate going to things because I have to leave my card shop in the hands of one of my employees, but you know, I went. But I realized that I didn't make a Strictly rant yet. And so I'm gonna, I stepped outside. I'm gonna walk around and rant about the topic that I plan to plan for this week. And so let me, there's, a, there's a little story to this. Last week was WGP Nationals at Hammer Grill Anime. Awesome getting to meet a lot of the fans. I got to meet a lot of my good friends uh, that are in the States. And the topic of like, you know, this is a very competitive event. It is the national tournament. The winner gets a free flight to Japan. The losers lose and they suck. Um, and the topic of comp comp the competition and being competitive kind of came up. I see myself uh, as having, you know, a person who's won the world championship, uh, who's won several events, who travels down to play events, see myself as a competitive player. Um, the topic came up because one of my friends who uh, plays a lot, thinks about the game a lot, talks a lot about the game, loves the game so much, uh, just, he just never tops. He just never tops and he just... I, I, I criticized him. I was like straight up, I don't think you're a competitive player. That's why you're not topping. And he's like, the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with you? I fucking play so much away shorts. He plays a lot. He plays on Skype. He, plays, he just plays a ton, right? And he knows a lot about the game. He talks about the game a lot. Let me take this back a bit. So one of my employees, Jay Ueda, great guy, uh, he is a, he's, he's a multiple time pro tour qualifier for Magic the Gathering. Fantastic player. I love talking to him about kind of card evaluation, card economy, stuff like that. It's, just, it's always fascinating talking to him. I see him as like a very competitive player in Magic the Gathering. He fucking hates the game. He fucking hates Magic. Why? Because as soon as pro tour season hits, according to him, he's grinding eight hours a day Magic. He wakes up, plays Magic, eats, plays Magic, leaves. He prefers waste over Magic to play a casual game. He fucking hates playing Magic. And when I asked him, Jay, do you think I'm a competitive player? He's like, no, fuck you. Well, well, you're not a competitive player. I'm like, but I've won so many events. I, I talk about waste all the time, and I think of myself as a very, very, very good player. You don't grind. This is his answer to me. You don't grind. You don't. Whenever I ask you to play waste, you don't want to play unless it's for money. Uh, you make decisions, deck choice decisions, uh, that are based on how many foils you can shove in the deck. You're not, every day you're not thinking about new ideas, new, just a lot of things, just saying a lot of things. And then, you know, it made me think. Back to my friend from Nationals. Okay, so basically what happened was, I present this idea to my friend in Nationals, the guy who I said never tops. Um, and he tells me that in sports, there's these crazy, uh, what makes competitive sports so fascinating is the underdog story. The guy who, you know, started from the bottom, now he's here. Uh, the guy who... Uh, worked his ass off to get to a certain position and My god That's so annoying That's what he sees in competition the ability to have that underdog story the build the like the come up right and I told him like The come up is fascinating the come up is great. You love hearing the come up But the come up isn't what makes you competitive um, I think I, I, I gave him the example like a bunch of people who love sports, love talking about the come up, but they love sports, but they're not competitive at sports. People who play fantasy football love hearing the come up. Any fan loves hearing the come up of his favorite player, but the fan isn't the one who's competitive, the player is. And the player is the one who's working his ass off. He might love, he might love the sport, love the game he's doing, he's playing, whatever, but he's working his ass off. But, and so I talked to him, I'm like, yo, dude, I think the fact that you want to come up and the fact that you're not talking and talking about that one day you're going to get there shows me that you really love the game of waste, but you're not, you're not competitive about it. And it made him kind of think. Maybe he just wasn't competitive. Maybe he's too into, too mesmerized by the kind of, uh, the ideas and the sensationalization of the game that he loves to play. So that's one key thing about being competitive. It's not about, it's not about you being fascinated by this and that and that.
the game, there's great stories of you triple canceling what. It's just about you grinding 32 hours, 8 hours a day, 4 days straight, preparing for a large tournament. That's what makes you competitive. Second, look, I think right now, English is the most competitive format Waste has ever seen. But so many people fucking hate English right now. They're like, fuck, it's AOT or Sal. AOT or Sal. AOT or Sal. The greatest formats, the most competitive formats in Yu-Gi-Oh! are often regarded as the formats that had like two good decks or even one good deck. So you can literally grind the mirror or grind the, the matchup between this and the other deck so much so that the person who grinds it more knows the matchup more in and out is, is more rewarded for it because you're just playing a bunch of mirrors and a bunch of like 1v1 this deck versus that deck. And those formats are fantastic. Casuals love the the diverse formats. I, I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. Uh, a lot of people hated Dragon Ruler format, but all the people who were really competitive loved the Dragon Ruler format. Uh, people who played casually are like, "What the fuck? I can't play my casual decks." And then like, same with Zoo. I think a lot of competitive players loved Zoo because every deck was like homogenized into Zoo formats. Right now, I think for the first time in Waste, for the first time in English Waste specifically, we're in a format that is so homogenized that good players win because they're good players and they test and they play text to beat the format it's great it's fantastic and people who want to have more diversity although it'd be nice to see and it's be more fun it's just not competitive you talk about competitive and whether competitiveness is good for a game is a different story I myself I think competitiveness is terrible for a game because when a game ends up boiling down to only competition you don't have a casual community anymore it dies but we're here just talking about what it means to be competitive we're not here talking about how to develop a game, how to make the game better, how to grow the game, because I think this format is terrible for growing the game. But in terms of competition, it's the most fun format ever I've ever played for Waze. I, I know the matchup of AOT Mirror and AOT versus Cell, uh, AOT versus Sword Art Online, like by the book. I know it so well that when I play a tournament and I play anything else, well, first of all, AOT beats everything. That isn't it's itself and Cell. And then when you play those matchups, you just gotta know know how to beat the matchup. It's great, I love it, I love it. Japanese is always hard format because it's not, Waze is designed in a way that isn't really competitive. You know, we look at WGP top 16, they forced a rule that was series diversity. They made it so your top 16 was diverse. That is terrible for a competitive game, but it's fantastic for a casual environment. But once again, if you wanna be considered competitive, your game's gonna fucking die, your game fucking sucks. Your game might blow, but like, playing top 16 seeing my friend who's really good at playing the deck get kicked out because another deck of the same name was already in the top 16 it just makes no sense good players get shunned out because their deck is the same as another deck that the fucking there's no competition left it's just a casual environment and that's what that's how i that's what i found wgp to be like i guess the two points just to sum it up a competition isn't about the sensational story it isn't to be competitive isn't about considering these stories to love the game, any of these things. Although loving the game, you can love the game and then become competitive. But because you love the game, it doesn't mean you are competitive, right? That's the key to take, away, take out. Secondly, well, I think competitive formats are formats that are not diverse. Fun formats are formats that are diverse. But once again, uh, being competitive isn't about having fun. Like Jay said, he has no fun playing Magic. And when formats, are homogenized, Jay loves playing those formats. He doesn't love the game, but the formats are completely skill testing. And yeah, I see my friends. I'm vlogging. Fuck you, Jerry. But yeah, it's strictly, it's strictly broken. Signing off. I'll see you guys next time.